So it's just us mortals from here on in? It's fine with me. I don't mind admitting that the idea of friendly vampires kind of creeps me out. North Point was my home for the last few years, so I know the place pretty well. Never snuck in through a smuggler's tunnel, though. That's gonna be a new experience. Just remember that we're part of House Montclair and things should go fine. We need to sneak in slowly, one at a time. Wandering around as a group would just be inviting trouble. The tunnel is supposed to lead through the lighthouse. We need to get inside and find a place we can use to get the lay of the land. Hold on! I'm coming with you! Let's check the building. There has to be one we could use as a safe location. Keep Bollock lived here. I hope he isn't one of these blood fiends. Anyway, this place is too small for our needs. Let's keep looking. This should do nicely. Let's make sure it's clear. Go on. Go find the rest of our assault team. I'll have this place all cozy-like in no time. Because you're gonna go back out there and let them know where we are and see if you can figure out where Lorea is hiding while you're at it. I'll get the place settled and make sure we don't attract any unwanted visitors. Watch your arse out there. I mean, did you see all the vampires and blood fiends? Well, you'd better hurry. We don't want to leave his lordship and her ladyship alone out there too long. It isn't safe.
out! Behind you! Watch out! They're coming out of the woodwork! I lost track of the Baron and the Countess when I heard the innkeeper scream. But I was too late. He gave me the key to the inn before he died. I think he tried to tell me something, but I couldn't make it out. Be on your guard. Here comes more of those monsters. Thanks for rescuing me. Just so you know, this isn't a usual occurrence. Oh, who am I kidding? This happens to me all the time. Can I assume the house you emerged from is our safe location? Of course it is. I'll just wander over and have a little lie down. It's all the same with you. Letting a noblewoman wander alone through a city full of vampires and blood fiends. What was Scordo thinking? RK guides our way as usual. Are... Are they all like this? The people of North Point. Did Lorea turn them all into... These... Vile creatures? May the light watch over them. Praise RK. I can't believe that sweet Lorea would do something like this to our people. What could have driven her to such horrors? I'll head to the manor and meet you there. Gather the others and let's meet at the manor. We have plans to make and I fear our time grows short. The light preserve us. Can you be? Oh, there you are. I, I thought my son might be hiding here, in his office. But all I found was his journal. You might as well have a look. Alec and I haven't always seen eye to eye, and he's made no effort to hide his feelings about me and his journal. He does mention the arrival of Lady Lorea, though. I'll tell you more when we gather with the others. No reason to repeat myself. Serene Manor. I know it well. Nice to see we finally found a good use for that pompous ass. I'll meet you there. We'll discuss the contents of my son's journal when the entire team is together. Try not to let the blood fiends suffer when you kill them. They were the citizens of North Point once.
You won't see much of Duke Sebastian anymore. He's a werewolf, so they locked him up and threw away the key. Maria has been here all along, and your son didn't do a damn thing about it? According to Alex's journal, yes. He seems to have been infatuated with the woman. Didn't even get alarmed when she started turning people into blood fiends. More blood fiends? I hate this. Just give me something to hit already. But it does sound like your son betrayed North Point, Baron. It's the Remnant. It put Alec under her spell. I'm surprised he was even able to write in his journal. Maybe that was his way of warning us. Veranda sent me to help. He said he needed to do some more research. I swear the man's got his head buried in that old book you found in Locrata. But if it wasn't that, it'd be something else. He loves his research, that's for sure. According to my waste of a son's own journal, he practically gave Lorea the keys to the city. What happened here was Alec's fault. I don't care what kind of powers Montclair's daughter possesses. A Dorel must be better than that. Baron was just filling us in on what was written in his son's journal. Spell or no, Elec has a lot to answer for. If he's even still alive. First, we need to find out if anyone survived Lorea's private party. The Countess heard noises coming from the inn. It's not much to go on, but at least it's a place to start looking. Part of me wants to find Lorea in there. Then we could put a blade through her and be done with this business. But I really hope the townsfolk have crowded in there and barricaded the doors. Either way, we need to get in there and see. So Darien accomplished something useful after all. Go upstairs and get that key. Funny thing, Darien was scratched and battered, claimed the blood fiends bit him. But the Countess didn't find a single bite mark on him. Guess he was mistaken. Darian can't talk right now. I gave him something to relieve his pain, and to quiet him down for a little while. The man does love the sound of his own voice. The end of my staff. Right to the side of his head. Best way to quickly quiet a delirious soldier. He was making enough noise to give away our presence, and I was in no mood to fight a horde of those creatures. A key? Yes. He was holding on to it rather tightly. I had to pry it from his grip before I could tend to his injuries. Is it important? RK provides. Bless us all. I heard sounds coming from the inn as I made my way here. Now we can get inside and see what's in there. I hope it's the survivors of this terrible disaster. I'd hate to think that Lorea turned or killed them all. I'm going with you to check on the inn. Scordo. Head to the inn. I'm right behind you.
My people. A ruler shouldn't have to cut down his own people like this. Let's check upstairs. Someone must have survived this nightmare. Be silent. We don't want them to hear us. Whoever or whatever you may be, I advise you to go away and leave us alone. These people are under my protection, and I will not allow you to harm them. I believe we are perfectly safe up here. Thank you all the same. Now go away. You have more than enough victims to suit your needs. I won't allow you to have any more. That's just what I'd expect one of Lorea's minions to say. Now leave us alone. You, in the attic. I am Allard, Baron of House Dorel. And I swear you will be safe in my hands. It's good to see you're still alive, my old friend. And you as well. But tell me, is Elec hiding up there? I'm sorry to say, but no. I left him at your manor. He insisted that he wanted to stay. Hmm. Huh. Kariar is the blade master of House Dorel. He's a good man. See what he has to say about all this. It's good to see Baron Allard again. He's like a brother to me. It's been weeks since we last saw each other. I only wish this reunion was under better circumstances. When Lorea sealed the city and began turning people into blood fiends, I used my sword to cut a path to this inn and led as many as I could to safety. I was forced to kill friends who turned into monsters, but I was able to save some of our people. It started innocently enough. She had Lord Elec call a gathering at the square. Then she addressed the crowd, saying how the blessing of Montclair would soon be upon us. That we would join her. Love her. Then people started turning all around us. A spell, perhaps? I'm not really sure. She made some strange gestures and spoke a few arcane words. Then it was as if a wave of power flowed out of her. People immediately began turning into blood fiends. But not everyone was affected by her blessing. Lady Larea has taken Dorel Manor as her own. But I have a key. Take it. Save as many of our people as you can. And be aware that Lord Elec is still with her. He was alive when I last saw him, but completely under Lorea's influence. I'll give the signal. It's time to liberate North Point from these monsters. Meanwhile, go to my manor and evict Montclair's daughter from the premises, with extreme prejudice. have gathered. What an excellent party. <laughs> you look like you could use a drink.
Someone new. How exciting! Come up, come up! You must introduce yourself before you can join the festivities. Oh, I know you. You must be the one her beautiful ladyship has been expecting. You're just in time for our grand celebration. We're celebrating the new and better life that will soon be ours. Lady Larea is going to honor us with her blessing. And then we will never die. Probably, but it's not what you think. We freely accepted the will of the beautiful Lady Larea. She loves us, and we are devoted to her every wish and whim. Careful, friend. That's the lovely Lady Larea you've just insulted. Now forgive this first slight, but if you persist, I will be forced to defend my lady's honor. My lady is upstairs. I'm sure she'd love to meet you. And when she tells you about her blessing, about the wonderful gifts she brings, I'm sure you'll fall in love with her just as I have. Just as we all have. Friends! Fellow nobles, the glorious blessing of Lady Lorea is almost upon us. Let us prepare ourselves to bask in her presence. You might as well come on. I know that you're here. I can take your pain away. I can make you feel so much better. Well, well, well. You're not at all what I was expecting. That makes this so much more exciting. Let me take a look at you. Hmm. So you're the one who dispatched my father's pet Argonian. Well done, by the way. Well done. I'm so glad you're here. I was becoming dreadfully bored with Alec and the rest of these silly nobles. Isn't it fascinating? You want to strike me, but your weapon hangs loosely at your side. I wonder why that is. Oh, I know. It's because I will it. This is my world now. I feel your desire to please me. And I can use it to make you do as I wish. You believe the nobles are in danger? You want to save them? <laughs> How sweet. They love me. They have given themselves to me. Thanks to the remnant, I am their god. And now I also have you. The hero that Verandis presumed to use against my father and I. You're trying to resist me? Oh, <laughs> what sport we shall have. But first, I have duties to perform. Come, join me downstairs. We must attend the celebration. Perhaps I'll even honor you with the first dance, before you try to kill me. You need to resist her, my friend. So much to me already. So many devoted worshippers. So much. You must break free of her spell before all is lost. Inspire will do the same. And then all the lands beyond. Just as in Locrata, Lorea has cast a veil. It hides her, protects her. You must find a way to enter the illusion. The basement! I can feel slight imperfections in the spell down there. Veil is a powerful illusion, but just as at Lucrata, you can manipulate its power using a tear. You have entered the Veil. Now find Lorea and finish this. A 
As usual, Verandas once again ruins my fun. I guess I'll just have to destroy you. You hate me, don't you? Attack! Let's see how this is wrong. They even share their life effortlessly. I never wanted it to come to this. I had hoped to save Lorea from this fate, or else I should have been the one to end her campaign. I'm sorry this unfortunate task fell to you. Lorea gathered the nobles here, played with them, forced them to love her. It was the closest she could get to real happiness since the loss of her mother. When she was done playing, she was going to turn them all into blood fiends. Your perceptions are excellent. She used this veil in two ways. To hide herself, and to overwhelm your senses with illusion. Unlike Locrata, instead of shredding the veil, this time you used the tear to enter Lorea's illusion. With Lorea's death, the power of the veil fades. As soon as it dissipates, the nobles will appear. But now, the final confrontation draws near. Gather our forces, and meet me at the Shrouded Pass. We must return to the Doom Crag to end this. What? What happened? <laughs> Why me? By the eight who did this. What happened to my people? Lorea Montclair? Yes, she arrived here. She said she was here to help. Then, I can't remember anything else. Is the rest of North Point... Is the city safe? I... I need to get outside. Find my father. I need to make sure that North Point's all right. Of course. Give us a moment to compose ourselves and we'll meet you outside. People, listen to me. Let's head outside and make sure the rest of the city is secure. We'll return for the Fallen later. Right now the living need us more. In the name of High King Emric, and in accordance with the laws of the land, I hereby order the arrest of Elec Dorel for treason, and the death of his kinsmen. But Father, it wasn't my fault. You allowed an enemy into our city, into our home. Dozens fell to these monsters because you couldn't ignore a pretty face. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I'm not even sure what happened. Lorea said she wanted to help, and... <sighs> I'm sorry. Apologies won't bring our people back. It won't return honor to our family name. Guards! Take Alec away. You are dead to me, Alec. Dead to me. I'm sorry I disappointed you, father. It won't happen again. believe this, but that wasn't how I wanted our reunion to play out. But laws were broken. People died. I can't ignore our laws. Not even to save my son. I left Elec in charge. The safety of North Point was his responsibility. Someone has to answer for the deaths he caused this day. If I was in his position, I would expect the same treatment. Lorea paid, and for that I thank you. But Elec wasn't under a spell when he welcomed her into North Point. That was his choice. I won't leave him here to make the same mistake again. 
Shrouded Pass? That means Montclair is in the Doom Crack. Then the time has come to strike down the traitor and restore peace to our shores. But first I want to thank you for helping the people of North Point. I won't forget your bravery. It has been a grueling day. Restock and rest. We'll begin the march to the Doom Crag when you're ready. Then the time has come to meet Count Ravenwatch at the base of the Doom Crag. Head for the Shrouded Pass and find Verandis. I'll gather our troops and meet you there. So Montclair is at the Doom Crag? Perfect. I always wanted to assault a haunted pinnacle high in the mountains. My friend, I am sorry you had to be the one to end Lorea's troubled existence. It was unfortunate, but necessary. And now, if we are to save Rivenspire, we must engage in another unfortunate act. The time to deal with Baron Montclair is upon us. Montclair is here. Of that there can be no doubt. He awaits atop the Doom Crag, where he somehow activated ancient defenses to block our path. We need to find a way around these defenses, and then set up portals to transport our troops up the mountain. The book we uncovered at Lokrata contains maps of the ruins, among other things. These maps show two portal chambers leading to the top of the Doom Crag. If you can reach the first chamber and open a portal, we can begin moving troops into position. Be on your guard. In addition to activating ancient defenses, Montclair has somehow awakened the alien guardians that haunt these ruins. You may have to deal with them as well as you make your way into the first portal chamber. Of course, but let's try to move this along. I fear Baron Doral will charge straight into an alien trap in his haste to make something happen. The Locrata text may provide us with some insight that will help us deal with Baron Montclair. I just need to finish my translation. This requires great care and concentration. I don't want to make an error that will cost us dearly later. A recent appellation. It refers to the thick fog that develops within the pass of the mountain. 
But my translation of the text tells me this was once a great place of learning and worship, with pilgrimages occurring daily to the top of the Doomcrag. As Baron Montclair must have triggered the ancient wards, many of the passages have barriers that were not present the last time I was here. He also seems to have disturbed the bones of the ancient aliens. They are now awake and angry that we're here. I worry about Verandis. I know I shouldn't. He's brilliant and strong. But this whole thing with Montclair and the death of Lorea, it has them all torn up inside. A large door straight ahead. Clearly, that's the main entrance. That's the way we should proceed. This door is closer. It could provide a shorter path. Perhaps fewer blood fiends to contend with. I'd rather cut through the enemies I can see than walk blindly into something I can't. The ruins might be full of traps. My dear Baron, you have an annoying habit of never listening to a word I say. You'll do as you please, as usual. I pray to the light that we have the will and the strength to end the threat of Baron Montclair. I think the nearby door leads up to the next level of this ancient ruin. It has to be safer than trying to run that gauntlet of skeletons, as the Baron suggests. Scordo has already gone inside to scout out the path. I'm ready. No, I am more than ready. The time has come to put Baron Montclair down like the crazed dog he has become. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of the Count's plan. I suggest the direct approach. Straight up the path and through the door at the end. No skulking through alien ruins as the Countess wants to do. And every enemy is in clear view along the way. Are the nobles still bickering or discussing strategy, as they like to say? Gives me a headache. I needed to do something, so I decided to look around in here. Seems to be something up ahead, past the angry skeletons. Time to kick some skeletal arse! on the floor. 
I wonder if this is an alien device to operate the barriers. I pray to the light that we have the will and the strength to end the threat of Baron Montclair. Baron Dorel is pushing the troops forward. Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't just charge in when we got here. I'm certain he believes he can take the Doomcrag on his own. We'd just get in his way. Only stories. It was once a great alien city. It must have been glorious in its day. But when I was growing up, all the tales spoke of a haunted, looming spire. If you must know, the thought of going up there sends shivers down my spine. Look! Something's happening! Can you see them? The alien spirits! Watch which tiles they go to! Each tile is marked with a constellation. Perhaps if we repeat the actions of the spirits, we can open the barrier that blocks our way. You did it! The barrier has disappeared. We can move on and try to find the portal chamber now. you would find the chamber and open the portal? As our troops emerge from the portal and take a position outside, you need to make your way to the second portal chamber. Once you activate that portal, we can get the troops that much closer to the top of the Doomcrag. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We must step through each door we come upon in turn. For now, you need to reach the second portal chamber. Go on. The second portal chamber should be on the third level. I want to make sure this portal is...
Another barrier blocks our way. Look around and see if you can find a way to disable it. Awake! The long eons of silence have finally come to an end. I speak in the coarse tongue of our servants, so that you may understand. Knowledge is the key that opens this door, and none may pass who have not gained knowledge. To the knowledge of which I speak, you must understand the cycle of time to pass beyond this chamber. When you feel you are ready, my riddle shall begin. Tell me, what is the time of dawning? Of birth and nourishing rain? Awake! Tell me! Time moves forward as sweet. Flowing water brings new life and new promises. A time of light and joy and abundant growth. Long hot days give way to short hot nights. The cycle advances as the golden sun fills each long day. And end comes to all things. And like dust comes before the night, this cycle comes before the grey of iron death. A time of reaping, yes? Of preparing for the cold that fills the world. Tell me true, if you really wish to pass. What is the season of iron grey? What is the cycle in which the world finally dies, at least for a time? Awake! Tell me true. The last cycle, when warmth is but a memory, and rebirth seems an eternity away. Our duty has been fulfilled. We held the barrier in place until the proper time which you unlocked, by understanding the rhythm of the cycles. And like those cycles, our time has come to an end. You may pass in peace. The barrier has fallen. The portal chamber should be just a short way ahead. The Doomcrag waits just beyond this chamber. The Doomcrag and Baron Montclair. I don't know if I'll ever get used to traveling by portal. One moment you're there, the next moment you're here. It's positively disconcerting. Better than I expected. We met with some resistance. But thanks to your efforts, we've been able to move our troops quickly through this death trap. We should be, once everyone has come through the portal. Why don't you check with Count Ravenwatch and see if he's ready? I hate to say it, but his knowledge has been invaluable in all this. I never really thought this day would come. But it is what Verandas has been training me for. I guess we're really going in there, into the Doom Craig. It's a bit scary, but I'm with Verandas to the end. I've seen the pain Verandas has suffered because of this place. It tortures him. Verandas has always been there for me. Always. I'll do anything for him. If that means invading the Doom Craig, then so be it. Probably more than he'll ever know. But that's besides the point. We need to end this and make things right. Even if we have to die to accomplish that. Once again, you succeeded at the task set before you. Well done, my friend. A battle won, but the war rages on. We must reach the lightless remnant and destroy it. But Montclair will grow more desperate the closer we get to that cursed relic. Are you ready, my friend? Once more into the breach. I fear that Montclair will have a surprise or two waiting for us within the Doomcrag. I suddenly have the feeling that bringing an army up here was a terrible mistake.
Never mind that now. We must reach the lightless remnant and end this madness. Tell the troops to remain here. They need to make sure none of Montclair's soldiers follow us up into the Doomcrag.